Hello guys, are you facing seriously facing problem in recognizing tenses or picking which tense to use when? Now here I have brought the series of tenses that will not only clear your logics but also enable you to use correct tense for correct situation. जब भी हम टेंसेस सीखते हैं या प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो दो चीज़ें बहुत ध्यान में रखनी चाहिए पहला ये कि हम सबको पता है कि 12 टेंसेस होते हैं तो अगर 12 टेंसेस है उसका मतलब ये हुआ कि हमारे पास 12 सिचुएशंस है और हर टेंस एक सिचुएशन को ही सपोर्ट करता है मींस वन टेंस वन सिचुएशन सो ट्वेल्व टेंसेज ट्वेल्व सिचुएशंस ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं हो सकता कि मैं सिचुएशन कोई और लूँ और टेंस कोई और लूँ जिससे मीनिंग पूरा चेंज हो जाएगा आइडिया मिसकम्यूनिकेट होगी दूसरी चीज़ ध्यान में रखनी है द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ द टेंस मींस व्हाट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब इज यूज्ड फॉर व्हाट टेंस ना हियर आई हैव रिटन फ्यू सेंटेंसेस एंड आई वुड लाइक यू गाइज टू judge the situation of all the four sentences how i can say that these four sentences fall under the category of present simple how can i say why like i should say why why these sentences fall under this category what are we trying to say if we read all the sentences if we say i like to watch the sky every morning the green trees they always give life to the environment they are here and she celebrates her birthday with her grandparents ye char sentences padh ke aapko kya feel hua okay so first sentence jab humne padha to it looks more like a routine that every morning or i like to watch the sky every morning so it is somewhat i can say like and it also looks like a routine if i see this sentence green trees always give life to environment now this sounds like a fact it is a fact so i'll put it under they are here yes they are here it is a fact right so <clears throat> they are here right now i can see them so it comes under fact now what about this she celebrates her birthday with her grandparents means every birthday she is with her grandparents so i can say it is a yearly routine birthday to birthday so this falls under the category of routine so what is the situation for simple present i now can guess that you have gotten it correct yes simple present tense supports routine likes dislikes hobbies facts in short i can say that such activities or actions which don't change they were the same in past present and in future such situation when you are willing to say or inform you will definitely pick present simple so if you closely see the verbs of simple present i have used like give are celebrates what if i write i add one more sentence to it like they have a car a very simple sentence they have a car so now here my verb is have 
so if you focus the verb i have also taken the action verbs i have also taken are i have also taken have everything is here so a confusion let me help you clear the confusion okay so i'll write three different types of verbs and show you how they are used let me take action verb if i say write so okay so there are three forms of verb which are they first form if i say write past tense of which is wrote and the third form is written in simple present tense we use the first form of the verb now when we have specifically he she and it means if we are using the name of a person or something animal or place after the verb we use s or es when we are working with simple present tense apart from these words we use the first form itself without s or es now not just this we can also use the to be form like i am we are he is she is it is and they are are you confused in simple present tense we are using be form i can say i can say that you you are a beautiful audience you are a smart learner so this is a fact right so that is a simple present tense let me give you a, the form of have or has we have you have he has we have to use the s or es she has it has and they have there you go but be very careful we don't need two verbs in simple present tense now this is a simple way of understanding the verb form of simple present tense now i would like to give you some kind of errors that generally people tend to make this will help you to spot your error if you have made now these are three sentences that i've written which are the most errors which people tend to make Now if I say that I am teach English to children now here I have used two verbs and both are the first forms which are they I have used am also and I have used teach also now which according to you shall I remove and why kyu mujhe dono mein se ek verb ko nikalna chahiye kaun sa nikalna chahiye aur kyu nikalna chahiye So this is my action verb. When I say I teach English to my children, ये sentence से मैं verb action verb पे focus कर रही हूँ action verb की information दे रही हूँ that मैं English पढ़ाती हूँ So I don't need am over there. The verb teach itself is capable to convey to my listener that 
this is a simple present sentence simple present tense mein humko do verbs ki zarurat nahi hai ek verb enough hai batane ke liye ki ye sentence simple present ko hold karta hai now what is the error in the second sentence i have eaten an apple every day now maine yahan pe kya galat kiya kyunki mere dimag mein ek स्टीरियोटिफिकल uh, थॉट है कि अगर मैं हैवी टेंसेस या अगर मैं प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट यूज़ करती हूँ या प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूज यूज़ करती हूँ तो मैं मेरे एग्जामिनर पे एक इम्प्रेशन छोड़ सकती हूँ कि मुझे ग्रामर बहुत अच्छे से आता है एंड दैट इज वेन आई मेक अ रॉन्ग सेंटेंस एंड एरर नाउ दिस इज सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस नो This is present perfect tense, and at the end, I have written every day. So, if you see the nature of the sentence, it reflects the simple present. But if you see the verb of the sentence, it is present perfect. So, a great mess, great mess, a big no to the sentence. What about this? I am working on my project every evening. now again every evening it shows that the action is supporting simple present nature it is every day it's a routine and the tense that i have picked is present continuous so a wrong combination a wrong blend has been created a miscommunication has been created and so i can zero for this so agar aap aise errors karte ho jab aap sentences likhte ho to please unko rectify karo unko pehchanne ka tarika kaise hai aapka first target hona chahiye aapne kaun sa verb likha hai dusra aapne wo sentence ka nature kya rakha hai क्या वो सेंटेंस रूटीन शो कर रहा है क्या वो सेंटेंस लाइक्स डिसलाइक्स शो कर रहा है या फैक्स शो कर रहा है तो तुरंत आपका थॉट जाना चाहिए कि विच फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब शुड आई यूज सो डेफिनेटली आप सही ही वर्ब पिक करोगे यू विल नेवर मेक एरर्स इन पिकिंग अ वर्ब फर्दर लेट एस सी the interrogative form and the negative form of this tense so i have written two sentences and i have tried to explain you how to convert them if you closely look they are totally different if you see this they are honest people now if i am converting this into a question it should look are they honest people means i have this are over here to help me to make this sentence a question a interrogation and if i want to convert it into a negative still the sentence itself is independent to convert itself into negative they are not honest people but if you closely see the second sentence that i have written they clean the garden together and if i have to change this sentence into a question there is a fill in the blank for you dash they clean the garden together exactly what is there i have taken it down and i have put a question so what shall you write here yes i'll write do they clean the garden together and if i convert this into negative again i would need this do over here too they do not clean the garden together now why is this if you closely see the first sentence is talking about the quality of the people and not about their action whereas the second sentence is targeting the action the activity so whenever you are targeting the action verb in specifically in simple present tense then 
this sentence is incapable to convert itself into question or negative and hence you need to borrow do so you need to call do hello do please come here to help me and with the help of do or does if we have he she or it we are going to use yes or yes so this do will get converted into does does he clean right so that is how it will go so if i'm having suppose he or she so how will it look it will look does he clean the garden so because we have taken does this will be clean and not cleans same way here if i say that he does not clean the garden every sunday or whatever so when we have does we are not supposed to add s or es to the main verb because that responsibility is catered by does so this is how you convert simple present into a question or into a negative